how to create the film look. In a flash of smoke, you only hope evaporates up into the Color grading is one of the biggest aspects that makes your videos feel more cinematic. It's what sets the mood and gives your footage that polished and professional feel. Back in 2017, every cinematic video had that famous orange and teal look. Why? Because we were all inspired by the GOAT himself, Sam Calder. His style was everywhere. But now, film is the trend. It's all about making your videos look like actual film. That organic, textured, nostalgic look. And I wanted to achieve that look too. So, I searched and watched countless tutorials, tried every technique, and still, I wasn't happy with the results. Until I found the answer. What? I said the best way, not the cheapest. The Hanser is a powerful plugin that works with the VG Resolve, Final Cut Pro, and Premiere Pro, giving you access to a massive list of film stocks, film compression, halation, bloom, grain, and more. And look, I'm a hundred thousand million percent not a pro colorist. For years, I just relied on different LUTs to get the look that I wanted. But with Dehancer, just by tweaking a few sliders and experimenting with different film stocks, I finally feel like I know what I'm doing. Kinda. <laughs> and yes, I am still using Adobe Premiere Pro. Please don't judge me. I know a lot of creators are now switching to DaVinci because of its overall features. Trust me, I really want to switch too, but I just don't have the time to learn a new editing software. That's why I love Dehancer. It makes color grading in Premiere Pro more fun and exciting. So in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how easy it is to use Dehancer and how you can get that authentic film look for your videos. So all of the videos that you saw earlier were shot using the Sony FX30. And I shoot my videos in a log profile, which is the S-Log3. Alright, so we're here in Adobe Premiere Pro, and I already have a few clips here on the timeline. Now I'm going to use an adjustment layer to put on top of these clips and apply the Dehancer plugin. Go to Effects and look for Dehancer, and drag that to the adjustment layer. And as you can see, it already has an effect on the video, but it is not the look that I want because this isn't the one-click solution or the one-click color grade. You have to tweak some more settings, which I'm going to show you. So first, go to effects controls and I go to input. And from the source, change it to choose camera. Then you go here and you're gonna see a bunch of different camera brands and models so as i said earlier uh, all of my videos were shot on the sony fx30 so we're, we're gonna look for the fx30 as you can see it has a lot of sony which is really nice if you are a sony uh, user so right here uh, sony Cin cinema line fx30 slug 3s gamma cine iso 800 so i click that and also it has Apple Log, which is nice if you are using the iPhone 15 Pro and above. And also I really love that they have an available for uh, DJI, some DJI uh, cameras here, which is really nice. As you can tell, I have a lot of DJI products that I use. This is gonna make my uh, editing a lot easier. So after that, I open Film, Film Developer, Film Compression, Expand, and Print. Then in the print, I use different print profiles, but my favorite is this the Kodak 2383 print film right there then also here in the film menu it also has a lot of different film simulations to choose from which is really nice as you can see here it's, it's a lot film profiles so my favorite film profile is this the default which is the Kodak Vision 3 250D. I also really like the uh, Fuji Color Natura 1600 
Then I really love the Sydney Steel 800D for low light shots. And these two, the Kodak Portra 400 and Portra 800, which is my favorite film recipe for my Fujifilm camera. So right here, my, my favorite combo is this, the Kodak Vision 3 250D with the Kodak 2383 print film. Then after that, I just play around uh, these settings just to get the exposure right. And also this, the uh, color boost. This is like the saturation and I really love this setting because it just makes your videos pop with the colors. Then I also use a tonal range. This just uh, compresses the highlights, something like that. <laughs> then I also go to temperature and tint just to add some different color, different temperature and warmth. And a couple things that I really love about the Hanser is these three, film grain, halation, and bloom. So film grain is gives a unique style. You can customize uh, the grain. As you can see, I don't know if you can see. Yeah, right there. You can customize the look, the, the film grain, or you can just choose uh, the different presets right here. And then also for bloom, Halation. I really love halation. You can also customize that or uh, you can select uh, the uh, presets right here. And yeah, as you can see, we're already getting the film look on this clip. And what I do is just I copy this or I just drag uh, this layer over the other clips, which is what I do here. Then I just cut just to make uh, different settings on this. And just tweak a few sliders, contrast. Right there. As you can see the before and after. This is the log footage. And this is the graded footage using the enhancer. As you can see, the halation. So this one, really nice colors. Before and after, right there. So this one. Yeah, that's basically how I use the Hanser here in Premiere Pro. And yeah, there's a lot more uh, different features and settings right here, which is I really never tried or used them before. But yeah, you can uh, really try. Uh, there, there's this uh, overscan. There's also a LUT generator, which is interesting. Probably gonna look more into that. Also Vignette, if you like that. Gate weave, you know, film breath, film damage. Just a lot more customization and features that the Hanser offers. Lumetri color is nowhere near the Hanser. So for those of you wondering, the Hanser is a paid plugin, but they do offer a free trial. So you can try it out first and see for yourself. If you do purchase the Hanser, you can use my special code Josiah Levante to get a 10% off. So yeah. After using Dehancer for a month, I can honestly say that it's been a game changer for my color grading workflow. It gave me exactly what I was looking for, the film look, without having to overcomplicate things. It also saved me from feeling like I had to rush into switching to DaVinci just to get better at color grading. So if you're someone who loves the film aesthetic or you just want to level up your color grading, Dehancer is worth checking out. Anyways, that's it for this video. So if you like this one, please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video. And see you in the next video.